This is a video of corn snakes shedding. Well, what? Some signs while they well, okay, sorry. Some signs when they're going to shed is their eyes like this guy. He has red eyes. They might get foggy and gray, maybe bluish gray. He, um, they won't be as shiny as they normally are. Like you can see, he's got a bit of a shine. Where you going, man? So they they'll get like kind of gray. And the I noticed with this guy, the his bottom belly scales will get all like messed up. It'll look like they're kind of breaking, but they're not. It's just the skin coming off. Um, you you okay? Oh, I just said it. You can't hold them when they're shedding. They don't normally like to be held like. When I went, the first time he shed, I was holding him, and I was looking at him like, what's wrong with him? Is he sick? But he was hissing at me, and he did not want me to hold him. He kept tr trying to leave and everything, and he just did not want to be held. Every time I would touch him, he'd probably, he'd hiss at me, and he'd, like, back away really fast. Where are you going, man? And he just did not like it, and I was kind of getting scared that he was sick. But then when I walked in, I thought there was two snakes in there, because when they shed, it all comes off in one piece most of the time. You know, I thought there was another snake, but it was just his skin. So, where are you going? Oh, these are my pajamas. So, um, when they're shedding, um, they do not want to eat. So, and they normally take about a week to shed, like, before they shed, and then it normally take. well, it doesn't take a week to shed, normally he shed in, like, ten seconds, he just kind of, like, it will open up on his mouth, and then he'll just, like, crawl out of it. But, normally... For a week before they shed, he does not want to eat. So maybe keep a log or put it on your calendar when he shed, so you'll know when to feed him, or else he'll just go like two weeks without eating. But I think it eventually he'd eat. Cause two weeks he probably wouldn't last that long. They need a water bowl to go in like big enough, cause when they're shedding, they like to just sit and go in the water bowl. I guess it makes the skin feel better. So, it needs to be big enough for them to go in about this deep. And, oh, hold on, he's trying to leave. Uh, he keeps wrapping his tail around my foot. Okay. Okay. You can hold them when they're done. Like, I'll just normally wait till he's done shedding. And the second he's done shedding, just throw the skin out, and then you can hold them. And, and if there's dead skin left on them, you have to take it off. Or else it might, under the skin... Like the pieces, if it got stuck still on him. Normally that happens on his tail, which he hates his tail being touched, so that's hard. Um, he you have to take it off, or else it might bacteria get under it, and he'll get sick. And probably he'll get a disease, and then might get you sick. Oh, and uh, another thing, you might want to wash your hands after you touch them. I don't think this guy has any diseases, but some snakes might carry salmonella, and some of them might have parasites. I don't know any that have parasites, but my uncle has one, and it has salmonella. I don't like holding him, but I know this guy doesn't, because uh, maybe a few times I didn't wash my hands, and I'm fine. Um, oh my god, I can hear my brother screaming. So, pretty much shedding. I, at first, when I first got him, I didn't know the last time he shed, so I was kind of worried that he wouldn't, would have gone two weeks without shedding, but then... The day that I fed him, like three days after he shed, so maybe not a week before they shed, they won't eat because it took him about four days, so don't be worried. They'll be okay. So, yeah.